guys, Christo Garcia, my swing evolution. Have I got a golf tip for you and do I have a story for you? Uh, you guys, uh, you should follow me on Instagram because that's where I tell my daily life stories. Uh, I just got admitted to the ER on Tuesday and um, my foot got infected. It swelled up like a balloon and then the urgent care doctor was like, you have to go to the ER right now. And so they admitted me uh, because the infection was starting to spread into my lymph system. It's lymphangitis. And I wound up in the hospital. But I'm happy to say I'm back home after a couple of days. And I am ready to get back to golf. We have an awesome MSE intensive this weekend. I want to welcome my friends that are coming in from other states and traveling for this. It's so fun. And I'm honored to be able to teach folks how I swing the golf club. Now, this is an important thing that I've recently started doing. Now, all of last year, I was working on the long drive stuff. To maximize your drives, you have to catch the ball on the upswing. Guys like Rory McIlroy do it the best. And he's at like, you know, plus four or five degrees angle of attack. But would you know the average tour player hits down on the ball 1.3 degrees? So I finally gave up on trying to hit up on the ball and I started hitting down on it. And all of a sudden I gained control of my driver again. That little inside over the top move is working great. And that's when I realized, you know, it's it's just not that big a deal. I mean, maybe I could squeeze out a few extra yards, but not at the cost of missing fairways so badly. So guys, if you want a lesson, hit me up, Christo at MySwingEvolution.com. Come on down to Eaton Canyon. I'd love to work with you. If you sign up for MSE TV right now, I'm going to give you a free swing assessment. You can send me a video of your swing from the front and down the line, and I will give you a swing lesson. Hit them long and hit them straight. Hey guys, so I was listening to Sean Foley's awesome podcast with Robert Raku. He's just one of the coolest golfers ever. And he was talking about when he finally was playing his greatest golf, you know, right on the door of top 50 in the world. He got on track man and saw that he was a little bit negative in his driver attack. And so he started working on trying to catch the ball in the upswing and it messed him up. Okay, so that happened to me too when I was doing all this long drive stuff last year. So now I'm letting myself swing down on the ball just a little bit. I think Tiger even is like negative one on his angle of attack with a driver. So you don't always have to do what everybody else is saying. And I'll tell you, that's freed me up and I've started hitting the ball much more solid. Hit them long and hit them straight. Hey guys, so here I am at the driving range and this is going to be every driver swing from this session. So if you've been following along, I've slowly gained more confidence with my driver. Now I'm hitting slightly down on the ball. This is a new thing for me. And I'm really loving these tee shots, to be honest with you. Now this is, uh, I think this is my fourth session my fourth session where I'm doing the little inside over the top move and I'm really starting to gain some confidence with the big stick. Now oh, that was delicious. So it was pretty shocking to me to find out that PGA Tour pros average 1.3 degrees down. Now that was like five years ago, but they've had TrackMan long enough to know what they need to do. Now the ladies tour, they actually hit up on it. But for some reason, I've always felt like I'm out of position if I try and catch it on the upswing. So there's one that I launched super high and I watch it because it just keeps on going. But I can't tell the difference between these balls and, and catching it slightly up. The one difference is I don't have that huge miss to the right. So give it a shot, guys. I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. I can't believe 
that Ben Hogan said there's only eight fundamentals you have to have under control in order to shoot in the 70s? Well, I'm gonna show you all eight and it's gonna change your golf game forever.